Weightlifter Jeremy Lalrenunga lifts the Commonwealth Gold India second. He lifts the gold in the men's 67 kg final. Indian weightlifter shining four medals in weightlifting on day two of the Commonwealth Games 2022. Shiv Sena Sanjay Rao detained after day-long raids in the land scam case. The ED takes a route for questioning after day-long raids. The Shiv Se Sanjay Rao denies any wrongdoing, alleges he's being targeted due to a political vendetta, will not break away from the Thakre camp, he vows. Three Jharkhand Congress MLAs caught with cash, arrested, suspended by the party. The Congress claims Operation Lotus has been exposed. The BJP says this is proof of rampant corruption. It's not my money, the sacked Bengal minister says about the mountain of cash discovered at his aide's home. The former minister, now suspended by his party, is brought to a central government-run hospital in Kolkata for a checkup. Hello and welcome. You're watching the news at 8. I'm Sarah Jacob. Let's get you up to date with the day's news right now. First, the Shiv Sena MP Sanjay Raut was detained by the Enforcement Directorate after day-long raids at his home. The probe agency official searched his home for most of the day, starting at 7 a.m. before he was detained in the evening. The Enforcement Directorate wants to question Sanjay Raut, 60-year-old Sanjay Raut, in connection with the redevelopment of a chore in Mumbai and related transactions involving his wife and close associates. Mr. Raut, who is the former Chief Minister of Thakre, uh, who is formerly in the former Chief Minister of Thakre Shiv Sena camp, has denied any wrongdoing. He says he's being targeted for political reasons. The Shiv Sena leader had, though, skipped summons twice to appear for questioning in this alleged land scam case. And the BJP has hit back. Uh, they say, why is he scared of the Enforcement Directorate if he's innocent? Mafia Police Commissioner Sanjay Pandey ke paschat ab Mafia Neta Sanjay Raut Pudik ki girat mein Gure Gau Patra Chal 12 Kuroor ka ghoota la Vatsari Nai Gau 2000 Kuroor ka ghoota la Alibad mein jameen Dadar Mumbai mein flip Videz Pravat Dubai mein Sanjay Raut kisse mile te ye sab चीजें जब बाहर आएगी तो मुझे विश्वास है आर्थर रोड जेल में नवाब मलिक के पड़ोसी बनने का सम्मान संजय राउत को मिलेगा all right, so what happens next? Uh, let's uh, go across uh, to Sohit, who's been monitoring the story all day. So, Rohit, as, uh, uh, Sohit, as anticipated, it was only to be expected that after those raids, etc., Sanjay Raut was finally detained by the Enforcement Directorate. What happens next? Uh, well, Sarah, uh, I am right outside the ED office, and uh, Sanjay Raut is inside this very building where he is being interrogated by uh, the ED officials, the same officials who interrogated him for almost nine hours uh, today morning. And uh, around 7 a.m. in the morning, these officials reached at his residence in uh, eastern suburbs of Mumbai, where he was interrogated. Around uh, 5 o'clock, uh, they detained him and brought him to this office. And from 5.30, he is over here. However, we heard him uh, 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 twice in the evening when he reached over here. In fact, even in the morning when the, uh, when, uh, the raids were going on, Sanjay Raut uh, tweeted five times, in which he said that he won't be leaving Shiv Sena. He is a part of Shiv Sena. He has also claimed that all the accusations against him are false. In the evening, while he was detained and being brought over here uh, at the ED office, uh, Sanjay Raut once again said that this is being done to 
uh, ensure that there is no more Shiv Sena and it is being done purposely. Uh, there is, uh, uh, this is being done by the central government so that there is no opposition left in the country. This is what Sanjay Raut has been continuously saying. We know that the, uh, there has been several summons given to him. He, in fact, on 1st of July uh, this month itself, he was in this very same building and he was interrogated for more than 10 hours. Later, he was summoned back to come on 20th of July and then on 27th of July. But on both these days, Sanjay Raut skipped the summon and he said that he, because of the ongoing session of parliament in Delhi, he won't be able to uh, join or be a part of any of the summons until 7th of August. This is what he said. But today morning, we saw that the uh, uh, officials reached at his residence and uh, the entire uh, interrogation as well as the search operation went on there for nine hours. This is regarding the Patrachal uh, scam and it is being said that one of the accused in this entire scam uh, who uh, has earned, I, I mean the entire scam is of more than 1000 crores and they are saying that uh, one of the accused had given money uh, that they got benefit by the scam uh, to Sanjay Raut and his wife uh, through which they brought uh, land parcels in Alibag. And that is the entire matter. It was of 83 lakhs. Sanjay Raut says that he had paid back 55 lakhs and this is being done purposely. Uh, so this is the, all the allegations that is going on. But now he has been brought and the interrogation is going on. It will be important to see that what happens next. Will it be similar to what happened on 1st of July where he was brought to this or he came to this office and he was interrogated for 10 hours and then he was released? Or will this be all a right. different story as we saw with Nawab Malik or Anil Deshmukh? So these are the things as of now that is happening. But Sanjay Raut has been one of the persons who have been continuously very vocal. He has been speaking against the current Maharashtra right. government, the uh, central government. We know about the Samna editorials that come every day or his inter interaction with the media every morning. But now he has been detained and currently he is inside the ED office in Mumbai. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks. So we'll come back to you for more updates from outside the ED office. Meanwhile, the three Jharkhand Congress MLAs who were detained in Bengal with a pile of cash yesterday have been arrested. They were earlier in the day suspended from the party with immediate effect. The Crime Investigation Department or the CID is now to take over the probe in the case. The Congress party has sought to link this with the BJP, saying that these three leaders were given money to make the state government fall. The BJP, however, says this money is proof of corruption in the Jharkhand Mukti Mocha Congress Alliance government. Close of the heels of piles of cash unearthed during raids on sacked Bengal Minister Partha Chatterjee's aide Arpita Mukherjee, another cash haul in Bengal. This time, bundles of cash found in a car, being used by three Congress MLAs from Jharkhand. The latest stash of cash was busted by the Havada police after a tip-off. The Congress on Sunday suspended the three MLAs Irfan Ansari, Rajesh Kachap, Naman Vixal, even as the party claimed that the cash recovery from its MLAs exposed BJP's failed Operation Lotus to bring down the Congress JMM government in Jharkhand using money power. This tariqe se, aaj loktantr ki dhajjiyan ulai ja rahi hai, chun kar aai hui sarkaron ko abdast asthir karne ka khula nanga naach chal raha hai. Aane wale dino mein, jo bhi aise koi jahe jan prati di ho, party ka koi जिम्मेदार पदाधिकारी हो और जो कोई भी इससे जुड़ा हुआ या इसमें लिप्त पाया जाता है पार्टी उसके खिलाफ सख्त से सख्त कार्रवाई करेगी द बीजेपी डिनाइड एलिगेशंस ऑफ हॉर्स ट्रेडिंग क्लेमिंग दैट द मनी इज प्रूफ ऑफ करप्शन इन द झारखंड मुक्ति मोर्चा कांग्रेस अलायंस गवर्नमेंट टीएमसी की सरकार है और जहां जहां टीएमसी और कांग्रेस की सरकार है वहां पर पैसों की बरसात हो रही है जयराम रमेश हमेशा आरोप लगाने वाले हैं आरोप लगा करके भागने वाले हैं द कांग्रेस एम एल एज इरफान अंसारी राजेश कचप नमन विक्सल वो ट्रेवलिंग टू बंगाल वेन देर एस यू वी वॉज इंटरसेप्टेड बाई द पुलिस ऑन अ टिप ऑफ दे हैव बीन अरेस्टेड बाई द हावड़ा पुलिस द कांग्रेस अब दी एंटी एज वन ऑफ इट्स एम एल एज फाइल्ड अ कंप्लेट विद रांची पुलिस on sunday claiming that the three arrested mlas were offering jharkhand mlas 10 crore each to topple the sorain government horse trading ka mamla hai ye sarkar girane ki sajish chal rahi hai aap hi log ka news chal raha hai hum to bole to jo aap hi log ke madhyam se hum bhi jante to 45 lakh mein to aap ye to ek kya bolega it's a matlab joke agar 45 lakh mein sarkar girta hai tab to hum log bhai sab log gharim baithe sarkar gira denge bhai The Trinamool that is reeling under the alleged jobs for cash scam has joined the Congress in blaming the BJP for trying to destabilize another state government. Bharatiya Janata Party, 
जहां भी गैर भाजपाई सरकार है उसको अस्थिर करने के लिए और कर रही है महाराष्ट्र देख लीजिए गोवा देख लीजिए इन द लेटेस्ट कैश सागा a proof of corruption or a conspiracy to bring down the government remains to be seen for now it's all claims and counter claims bureau report ndtv all right now let's get you a special report from uh, a, a, a huge update that took place uh, this uh, week the supreme court of india in a landmark judgment recently permitted an unmarried woman's petition to abort her pregnancy at 24 weeks noting that the law did not discriminate against married or unmarried women i consider myself bold well educated and fine to decide on an abortion but this was inevitable due to my husband filing for separation yet when i did the hospitals refused without his signature i was devastated because he found this as a tool to torture me Supreme Court's order will come as a huge relief to those who now don't have to seek abortion through illegal means. Abortion was denied to me when I was at 16 weeks. I ran from pillar to post, mentally, physically, psychologically, socially exhausted, spent money on middlemen, women, finally gave birth to a baby, gave up for adoption. This happened 8 years ago. Activist Adira Pushottaman hopes these traumatic experiences will become a thing of the past with the Supreme Court allowing unmarried women to abort at 24 weeks overturning a Delhi High Court order. The 2021 amendment to the MTP Act replaces husband with partner with the legislative intent of covering unmarried women and excluding unmarried and single women from the statute's scope contradicts the legislation's intent. The Apex Court has said There is no basis to deny unmarried women the right to medically terminate the pregnancy when the same choice is available to other categories of women. The Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act allows women to abort in the first 20 weeks of pregnancy. Rape survivors, those whose marital status has changed or mentally ill women can abort at 24 weeks. Unmarried women have also now been allowed. the access to abortion care may improve from this uh, judgment because um, and i certainly feel that you know it if if it it makes so much sense that women should have the same access to health care regardless of their marital status this order by the supreme court is significant as it includes unmarried women as a part of the medical termination of pregnancy act This means unmarried women will now have access to healthcare services without having to take the legal route anymore. With camera person Kumar Shrija for NDTV.